Bowling Green State University's education program is placed in the top 130 in the nation. Many students participate in the interactive echo learning community in Cole Residence Hall. But will this program withstand the test of university cuts? Well, echo is a learning community uh, for education majors who um, are from any of the areas in education. So art education, early childhood, middle childhood, intervention services, the whole, all education majors. And um, it is to better prepare them for the classrooms and communities they're going to go into. So what ECHO stands for is, <clears throat> it's E-C-C-O, and it's Educators in Context and Community. ECHO is unlike any other education program and is the only interactive teaching program offered at the university. So for me, ECHO is like where we get a sense of family, whereas in we're all together and we get to grow with each other along the way and you know, so more than that you also get to go into the classroom to so do different things like that so we actually get to know if we really want to be a teacher and what context we actually want to teach in so we actually get the sense of what's going on more before most teachers get the chance to do it. Cuts for the university are currently underway mostly pertaining to faculty and for programs such as ECHO that rely heavily on staff and student interaction, the concern is now how effective the program will be in the future if staff are gone. They want to keep me here, they want ECHO here, but in all of these cuts I could be cut. And uh, that could come in two forms. You know, the position could be cut, but I don't think anybody's talking that way. What is more realistic is that my responsibilities uh, affiliated with ECHO could be minimized and I may need to take on other responsibilities. And the staff is very highly involved with ECHO and when that can't be it falls back on some of the student uh, like organizations inside ECHO like the executive board which has not had that sort of responsibility really so we will see how that goes. All the program can do now is prepare and hopefully adapt to the upcoming changes. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Lucas Stahl.